So I found this, uh, looks like a swim platform from a boat and it's missing a little piece here, but I think it's going to be perfect for, for the, the catamaran out there. Um, the distance from here to here is like uh, just a little bigger than the hulls. So uh, I'll just I'll just put a couple of pad eyes in the hulls and I can lash this down. And then this can hold my um, my backpack, my cooler, my anchor. And uh, well, I mean, maybe I'll leave this little ladder. It could be kind of nice, you know. And uh, also, I think I'll have one, a small bin for for the like the my, my sleeping bag and stuff that's like super watertight. And that, should, that would leave the whole trampoline, you know, completely clear for just sailing and stuff. So this is like an awesome find and it's, it's like teak. So I'll just pressure wash this. Maybe I'll sand some of the varnish off and uh, I might, I, know, I might, might kind of like see if I can fix it a little bit. Maybe I'll glue it back together, but, and then we'll, we'll be set there. I've been hitting this with some 80 grit. There's the before and the after. Being up pretty good. Today on my beach walk, I found this looks like a center board or a dagger board of a sailboat. And I think if I just drill a couple holes in it and cut that top part off, it'd make a good spare emergency rudder for my, um, my sailboat. And then I found this nice piece of, I think it's Douglas fir. And uh, it's real strong. I think I'll use that for my spinnaker pole. Maybe I could put a couple layers of glass on it and make it even stronger. These rudders are binding up a little bit, so I kind of outlined where they, they rub. I'm going to remove that material. I think maybe they just got repainted and a little too thick. For sailing in like the Keys and Everglades and around here, you really need, I go in shallow water a lot where the rudders kick up and I really need them to be able to kick back down uh, effectively and quickly uh, so I can steer easier. I suppose when I'm single-handed, like, I, I can't be fiddling around with the rudder when I need to work with the sail and navigation and steering and stuff. So this is a pretty important to get these rudders working well, I found. It's a super light coat of paint just to protect the fiberglass. I'm also going to build myself a spare rudder out of this piece of teak and that will just be as a to back up to have. So I just cut that out with a sawzall, drilled a couple holes, that should work. These rudders do look like they're actually made of wood and fiberglass, so hopefully they're a lot stronger than the, than the Hobie rudders I had. Those are just like polycarbonate and they just snap right in half. The emergency rudder fits. It's obviously not in perfect shape, but it'll, it'll work, I think. So I did a big Amazon order. Most of this will be for the Catamaran Adventure. Let's see what we got. So here's all the gear we got. I got a small VHF radio for opening bridges, speedy stitcher for sail repairs. I got a dive light slash spotlight. I like this one. I've used it a couple times. It has USB-C charging in the back. What is it, a Workos? Um, it's rated for deeper than I'd ever dive. And it, I like having a combo device, you know, so I can use it for diving or just a spotlight on the boat. I like the ring versus like a screw thing. And it's got different brightnesses and no stupid blinking modes. Accessories for that, a pair of calipers. That's, I was, I thought this was kind of interesting. I never tried one of these. Um, it's an uh, electric lighter. Seems to work pretty good. Claims to be waterproof. Cool orange color. I got a GoPro clip for my hat because it's pretty hard to film with single-handed a catamaran. Uh, some pad eyes for the boat. They're just kind of in my toolkit. More radio accessories. Mosquito like gear repellent. You put it on your clothes and stuff, I guess. A lot of mosquito stuff. Just some buckles for some canvas projects. A tarp to keep the rain off. A RAM phone mount for navigation. This is a RAM system. I, I like it. More, some more bug nets. And uh, some little mini, like these little wire gate mini carabiners. It's a nice little size for using for tethers and things. 
Then here I got the Anchor Buddy Bungee Anchor, which is like, I highly recommend this for uh, small dinghies and beach catamarans. It's super versatile. Just some Dyneema for when you need a strong rope. More bug netting, a lot of bug netting. I've got my uh, navigation the lights. Unfortunately, they do have the annoying blinking modes, but red, green, and white. And then I just have a whole bag of them because they're very unreliable. I'll bring maybe four of each one. A, a bilge pump for pumping out the holes. Some silicone ziplocs for charging cables. Wow, a whole bunch of, uh, I think, quarter inch rope. I need some towels. And then I had my mom send me my Gill foul weather gear jacket for the trip, just in case. And I also got a couple of hatches for the holes. I'm thinking I'm gonna install these. We'll have to see. Looks good. Looking. So this way I could mount the anchor inside the holes and maybe some of the the gear. They look like they're pretty decent. I'm not crazy about cutting a hole this big in the holes, but I think the hole this should kind of stiffen it up once I screw it in, though. So it should. Make up for the hole, hopefully. So that will just go sit on the front here. It looks, looks a pretty good fit, actually. And then the opening, of course, is much smaller, but I think it'll be just enough to slide the anchor in there. And I made a padded bag for the anchor the other day so it won't rattle around. Is that holding up good? Yeah, looks like my lines are good. So I made a template for my hatch. That looks like a good, a good spot for it. Okay, yikes, there's not a big hole in my boat, but it looks pretty good actually. Let's see if it fits. So the construction of this boat looks like a, like a foam, oh, well, maybe it's like a honeycomb actually, a foam core kind of thing with uh, glass on both, on both sides. I wonder how they did that. Oh, it's a whole top is molded differently maybe? I don't know, it looks like one piece. So the hatches, are in the holes fit good the problem is the decks are round and the hatches are flat so i'm gonna have to put some shims in here i think i'll do like a strip on each side and then i'll just fill in the rest with some butyl tape and that way when the screws go down they don't bend the hatch they just pull it like flat and then down the road i'm a little worried about losing too much rigidity but i'm thinking what i could do is i could take out those shims and like do like a carbon fiber like uh kind of raised flat ring around there and that would like rigid it up you know and then also give it a flat surface but that would take probably a couple of days and i think uh this will try to try, we're going to try it the easy way first see if that works and is watertight if not we'll do the the hard way so here's my spacer strips and then i'll just stick these on with that beetle tape on both sides and then a bunch just a whole bunch right here and then uh even then i'll do a bead maybe around the inside too and then Hopefully that'll make a nice good seal. And uh, this this is now, it has these spacers. It goes flat across here to there. Now I'm putting in my phone mount. So a couple holes here and then boom. So here's our little ball mount. And then the phone holder just sockets right on top of that. And I'll face, yeah, face the back of the boat there. Up, this is upside down. Yes. So I'm super frustrated with myself. I put this on the wrong side of the boom. I wanted it to be on the bottom. And I even marked it when I was on the boat. So I don't know, maybe I had the boom upside down on the boat. Lots of houses in Florida have these pool cages, and I was realizing it's made out of, it's basically the same stuff as that Pfeiffer text mesh I used to make the pockets and things on my boat. And like all the neighbors were throwing out all their, their old pool cages. So I got a bunch of that stuff because it costs like 15 bucks a yard. Uh, so I made myself a little pocket for, you know, knickknacks and things that ha hangs on the boom out of it. So now the phone mount is on the bottom of the boom like I like it. So that will be nice and secure. It's got these grippers on both sides. It's real strong. And then I have a, uh, a tether I put on my phone case. I just drilled a couple holes in there. And so that's just a backup if I 
when I put a carabiner around there or something. Back on the catamaran projects today, I have these extra pieces of like, it's like a thin foam from the surfboard I built last year. So I'm going to uh, glue those onto these hulls because the trampoline is nice to sit on, but normally I end up sitting on here, I found. And if I'm gonna be on this for, you know, sailing 200 miles, nice to have a little bit of a cushion. So it's gonna clean it off. Definitely a uh, comfort enhancement. Not, it doesn't seem to be sticking as good as it surf, stuck on the surfboard. I also put this piece of teak on the front there. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I'm gonna actually cut it narrower and put it like back here. That would be a little bit easier to grab stuff. But I kind of like it up there also because it makes it easier to put the jib on to have a little platform to stand on. So we're gonna take the Mirage Mystere. Then we're gonna take the Mystere 5.5 out for a sale. We've got our friend Todd here to help him test it out. And we're all rigged up. Very light wind, that should be good. I'm gonna go fast again. <laughs> so, a nice little test sail. Everything's working pretty well. The rudders are sliding up. Much better than before. This one's still a little sticky, but I can get it up and down. I'm kind of experimenting with my tent. It's not great, but I think maybe I should run it below. Maybe do like a line across the mast or something. I don't know. Uh, but I think it'll work for now. Hopefully it won't rain too much. I got the front thing lashed up. I'm still thinking about doing a little mini trampoline up here. I think that might be cool. Hatches are screwed in and sealed with beetle tape. I got my little spacers. It seems to be working okay. And uh, the anchor fits in there, so that's a that's a big bonus. I, oh, it's gonna be nice not having to have the anchor out on the trampoline when I sail. So a little tweaking in the tent is looking much better. It's, I still think the rain's gonna hit the trampoline and then pool underneath me. But I've got a pretty thick pad to sleep on, so I think it, that the water will stay. I could stay dry under here. I don't think it's going to rain too much. I hope not. This is great, actually. This is way more room than I had on the Hobie Cat. The boom is much higher. I just, I lifted the front of the, bo the boom up. I need to find a better way to do that. I just kind of like tied it off, but that might work for now. Also, building an extra trampoline for the front up there. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll tune in the next video. I should have that out uh, in a couple of days. And that's when we're going to take the boat on a big uh, sailing and camping adventure through the Everglades and down to the Keys. I'll see you guys then.